an Ironman triathlon, ultimate single day endurance test, a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike, and a 26.2 mile full marathon run completed by some of the best athletes on the planet. This is my journey to balance work and family life to become an Ironman in 2023. That is right. I have signed up for an Ironman. I'm going to be doing an Ironman this year. I've obviously been training for the last few weeks with not really that much focus, but I did kind of have in mind that I wanted to sign up for an event. I just wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do and when I was going to do it. But I've signed up for Ironman Portugal. So that is the 21st of October. Just have to look at my laptop check the date. I should remember that by now. 29 weeks from when this training took place to when I'm going to be doing the Ironman. The videos are going to get a lot more intense. I'm really happy that I've kind of been able to get consistent with making videos over the last few weeks. I want to make sure that every single week I'm putting out a video showing my training. It's going to be really interesting to see. This is going to be my second Ironman. I've done a couple of Ironmans now, but I did do one and made a video about that. Did do the full Ironman at Bolton in 2018, which I uh, I still haven't made a video about. But obviously, that was quite a long time ago. Originally in 2020, I was going to do Ironman Portugal. That was like my plan. That was my goal race. And uh, yeah, obviously that didn't go to plan. I didn't actually end up signing up in the end, thankfully. The training's not going to go crazy. I think my biggest week might be like 14 or 16 hours, depending on what we're doing. But yeah, that's kind of what we're going to be building up towards. And then I'm going to try and do the training probably myself. So this week was, yeah, a pretty decent week of training. Started off on Monday with, again, another road, bike, ride outside. Last week I went outside and this time went out again. I wanted to just slightly increase the distance. So the week before, I think it was an hour and 50 minutes and like 28 miles. So this time I did 30 miles in a nice round two hours there. Okay, we're out on the bike. Hope you can hear me okay, it's not too windy. It's the afternoon. I was gonna try and go out this morning, but Arlo has been teething, so lots of crying and not sleeping and lots of sh So he's with Nicole now, hopefully having a little afternoon nap. So I've got on my bike in the afternoon, hopefully about two hours. It's going well so far, nice new roads. First I thought it was mud on this road. It's definitely not, it's definitely cab. There's a lot of in this week's training, I guess. Oh. Are you teething? No. Yeah. We've got. No. I burned like way more calories than I expected today. So I'm going to have to eat half a tub of ice cream. Tuesday just kind of had a rest day, had a big, big full day at work. And then Wednesday was another bike ride, this time back on Zwift on Watopia. Uh, Tour of Watopia, stage four. I think we've got like two of these to go. Uh, and then I'm probably going to substitute out another Zwift ride in the week and maybe just do an interval session on Zwift or a race and then try and do two sessions outside on the bike each week. And then in the uh, afternoon, we also went to the gym, hit legs. It's not very nice outside. Just to go for a run, but like you said, we go to the gym. Thursday morning, went to the gym again, did a chest slash push session. Pretty decent workout there, feeling good. Gonna have to start cutting down the gym workouts, probably not for like five weeks or something like that. Um, and then we'll really start amping up the Ironman training. This is like the day after I've signed up for it. So I don't know if now it's setting in that I'm actually gonna do this thing. Um, we have to actually start training properly. Gonna have to go swimming at some point. <clears throat> Just not prepared for that. Like I'm actually sat in the gym thinking, oh, next week I'm gonna have to go swimming at some point. <sighs> Maybe I should have done a duathlon, but just doesn't sound as good as an Ironman, does it? And on Thursday was intervals after work, which I was pretty happy to get in. Just done my 44 minute run. I'm really not sure if the camera shows like how wet I am. The second I was about to leave, it just started hammering it down. And then Friday, that long run, uh, actually did manage to increase the distance quite a bit from last week. An hour and 20 minutes, eight miles. Second day in a row, I'm in exactly the same position. Just finished another long run. Did 12 kilometers in like an hour and 20 minutes, eight miles. Had my first anxiety dream about the Ironman last night. After signing up two days ago. It wasn't so much about the actual Ironman, it was about getting on the plane before the Ironman. And that I was like looking on Google Maps what time we're gonna get to the airport. I was gonna get to the airport like five minutes before the plane was supposed to leave. And then we didn't have all the stuff packed yet. And it went on for like forever, it seemed like. So yeah, 29 weeks to go and we're already panicking about it. But the way I look at it, that's like 200 training sessions between now and then. So uh, plenty of time to get those nerves uh, under control. So Saturday night, also went to the gym and did uh, another gym session back and pull. I had planned to do workouts on Sunday after work, but I wasn't finished till like 9pm. So I didn't get home until 10 o'clock. Um, I had planned to do a Zwift ride uh, intervals and a recovery run after that because those are like the two workouts I've missed during the week. I don't even know what I've bothered planning that. I need to make sure going forward I don't plan workouts. Um, I don't mind going to the gym after work when I finish late, but doing a Zwift ride or a recovery run. If I get home, it, there's just no chance that's happening. So I need to try and think about that a bit more going forward. Really excited to get into this journey now. Like I said in the intro, I mean, there's a lot of people that have filmed their training that I watch that I suppose can put a lot more time and focus onto it. This is kind of going to give you an idea of the training to expect, you know, if you're working full time, 
you've got a child to look after, what you can fit in around that and uh, and how it can improve over time. Hopefully we're going to see a big improvement over the next 28 weeks, 29 weeks. Or if not, you're going to get to watch me uh, struggle for an Ironman, which uh, yeah, I really do not want to do again.